Timu ya taifa ya Tanzania Taifa Stars hileo imeondoka kwenda Misri kwa ajili ya mashindano ya AFCON yatakayoanza kutimwa vumbi Juni 21 ya mwaka huu. Kabla ya kuanza safari kikosi cha Taifa Stars kikiongozwa na nahodha Mbwana Ali Samata asubuhi ya leo wamefanya mazoezi ya mwisho katika uwanja wa taifa. Kila safari haikosi changamoto ni maneno ya kocha mkuu wa timu ya taifa Emmanuel Munike akizungumza muda mchache baada ya kumalizika kwa mazoezi huku akiamini kwamba kujituma na kujitoa kwa dhati ndio ushindi wa taifa stars huko Misri hivyo hana shaka na hilo ukilinganisha na aina ya wachezaji aliyokuwa nao But the good thing is that uh, we started this campaign since Sunday, and uh, the spirit is high. You could see everybody, uh, all the players are responding very well to the training, all the players are responding very well to the camp. Today we are traveling to face the real uh, uh, journey in Egypt. Uh, we are confident that if we believe in ourselves as a team, if we do what is right, if the players are committed, I think uh, we will pull positive results in Egypt. Uh, I'm not having any doubt about that. But we also are aware that uh, for you to succeed in life, for you to achieve something, there has to be discipline. Uh, there has to be dedication. There has to be commitment. So I'm happy with the players. We're we'll going with 32 players. And uh, when we get to Egypt, we are privileged to play two friendly games, which is against Egypt, hopefully on the 13th. And then on the 16 against Zimbabwe, we round up our last game before we have one week to assess ourselves and then before we can finally bring the final list of 23 players that will be representing Tanzania in the AFCON. Kuhusu kuwa na idadi kubwa ya wachezaji wanaocheza soka la kulipwa nje nchi, mwalimu wa Munike anasema uwepo wao haimaanishi kwamba wao ndio wanaweza zaidi kwani yeye haangali ni wapi mchezaji anatoka bali anachoangalia ni mchango gani mchezaji anaotoa katika timu ya taifa you have to convince the team you not convincing me as a coach me i'm the coach and uh, to be honest to you if the team grow i will grow so i want the best leg i want the best players that can help the country to grow that can help the team uh, you guys say 39 years uh, since uh, tanzania made it to the afcon uh, totally i agreed with you it's 39 years but i also can tell you that uh, 39 years is just a number. If we believe in ourselves as a country, if we work very hard, we can pull positive results in Egypt, we can pull positive things in Egypt, we can position Tanzanian football in Egypt. And it will also give you guys the ability, the possibility to also grow as a media. So for me, it's not about where you're from. I'm not interested about where a player is from. Uh, what I'm interested in is what can this player give to the team? What can you add to the team? What value are you bringing into the team? We qualified with a lot of players. Uh, along the journey, a lot of players have been here. People that started the journey, some are not here. Uh, when I came, new players, and this is how it should be. And when you see a good player that is good, you have to encourage him. You have to give him the opportunity to prove himself. You have to give him the... The, the room to demonstrate that he can be part of the project. Ni baada ya kutoshiriki michuano ya Afcon kwa takriban miaka 39. Hatimaye, hileo kikosi cha wachezaji 30 na wawili kimesafiri kuelekea nchini Misri ambako watashiriki michuano hiyo ambayo itaanza kutimua vumbi Juni 21. Huku baadhi ya wachezaji akiwemo Ibrahim Ajib pamoja na Jonas Mkude na wengine wakiachwa kutokana na kutoonyesha kiwango kinachotakiwa. Gerard Nyangali, Kwanza TV, Dar es Salaam.